Hello and welcome to Tommy Talks TV. I have one singular goal with this show and that is to help you make smarter decisions so that you can have better relationships. I'd like to say a very big thank you for all your support, all your likes, your shares and your comments on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube. I really, really appreciate you because you're helping us spread the message further faster. So thank you very much indeed. Now I've got one of your questions with me today and it goes like this. I felt God was leading me towards a particular man but I have been waiting for about a year now and he has not made a move. Someone else has come instead and I have prayed about the relationship, but nothing is being revealed. What should I do? Now, this is a very interesting question. Um, the first thing that I would ask is, what is the status of your relationship with this first person um, who you felt that God was leading you to? And by that, I mean, is, it someone, is he someone who is a friend? You know, someone who maybe you already have some form of a relationship with, you know, and someone with whom you talk? Or is he someone that you've just noticed from afar, you admire from afar, um, but there really isn't, you know, any interaction whatsoever? Um, and the reason why I ask this is because, you know, over the years I have met a, a, a good number of women who maybe noticed someone, you know, and felt like, oh, well, they'd, they'd fallen in love with them. And, be, you know, because of that, they felt, well, God is leading me to marry this person. And they put their lives on hold for years and years on end, waiting for this person to notice them, you know, trying to catch their attention so that, you know, possibly, you know, something might happen. But somehow they feel disappointed and then maybe eventually the person decides to go and marry someone else. So what I, I you know, I usually say to, to, you know, to women is this, you know, first of all, you need to realize that, you know, there is nowhere in scripture that God promises you a particular man to marry. That, that's the reality, you see. And, you know, it's, it's actually, you know, a, a misconception to think that there is only one person in the whole world that you could potentially get married to. And if you don't marry that one person, then, you know, maybe you've missed it completely. Um, th there's really no, nothing in scripture to support that. Um, the Bible does say that, you know, if, if, if someone is choosing a spouse, they can marry whomsoever they will, but only in the Lord. It was only in the case of Adam that God brought Eve specifically to him and obviously that was because there was no other woman on earth at that time. So what am I saying? It takes two to make a relationship. So, you know, it's one thing for you to notice someone, you know, and pray about it and feel, oh, this might be, you know, a great person to have a relationship with. If, you know, a, a man usually knows what he wants and if you've been in the same vicinity for a year and it doesn't look like he's making any moves at all, you know, maybe he hasn't even noticed that you exist, then it's very possible that, you know, he might might not you know be particularly interested in having a relationship with you on the other hand, if he's someone that, you know, is already you know, a friend and all that, you can possibly gauge from the relationship whether there is any future in it um, before you decide, you know, to just basically call it quits. But, you know, so ultimately, you know, you've got to really, you know, look at the circumstances and, and see whether there's really any potential or you're just basically dreaming about someone who hasn't actually noticed that you're there at the moment. Now, concerning the other person, you don't necessarily have to marry that person. So what you need to ask yourself is this, if this first person was not in the picture, does my heart say yes to this, this new person? You know, so, so ask yourself that question and spend some time praying about it. If you don't really feel like your heart says yes to him, then it might be that there's someone else, you know, that you should be getting married to and it's neither one of those two. So you've got to approach it from that perspective and not feel like, well, I might as well say yes to this one because this other one is not showing any interest. Um, I hope this has helped you. This has helped you then please leave me a message on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram or on YouTube. And I should mention that um, in my book, Get Real, um, The Myths and Realities of Finding and Keeping Love, you will find a bit more detail about how to find, you know, who to get married to. Get Real, The Myths and Realities of Finding and Keeping Love. You will find details on the screen of how you can order your own copy. Um, so I would encourage you to actually get a copy of this book. God bless you and see you next time. Bye for now.